To prevent unnecessary duplicative litigation, courts have developed certain doctrines of finality. Res judicata and collateral estoppel are doctrines of finality that prevent parties from relitigating claims or issues that another court has already decided. In Rios v. Davis, the Texas Court of Civil Appeals considered whether res judicata or collateral estoppel precluded a plaintiff from relitigating an issue of fact that was already decided by another court. In December 1960, Juan Rios, Jesse Davis, and the popular dry goods company were involved in a three-way motor vehicle collision in El Paso County, Texas. Approximately four months later, in April 1961, Popular sued Davis in the El Paso County Court at Law, seeking to recover $443.97 in damages caused to his truck as a result of the accident. Davis answered the complaint by alleging that Popular was contributorily negligent. In addition, Davis joined Rios as a third-party defendant to the suit. By joining Rios, Davis sought to recover $248.50 in damages from Rios that were caused to Davis's automobile as a result of the accident. Following trial, a jury found that Popular, Davis, and Rios were all negligent in causing the accident. As a result, Popular was denied recovery from Davis, and Davis was denied recovery from Rios. Subsequently, Rios sued Davis in El Paso County District Court seeking to recover $17,500 in personal injuries sustained in the accident. Davis, now the sole defendant, urged that both res judicata and collateral estoppel barred Rios's suit because of the jury's findings of fact in the prior case regarding the same accident. The district court agreed and entered judgment in favor of Davis. Rios then appealed to the Texas Court of Civil Appeals.